Hey everybody, Venice Zero Zero One here. I just wanted to bring in this commentary and thank everybody for 5,000 subscribers. I think I'm almost at uh, 5,200 now. So I'm motoring along with the subs and I'm pretty happy about that. It's uh, quite uh, astonishing actually <laughs> when I think about it that I've actually reached a 5,000 mark at, and I was at that point where I was like, oh, I've got 100 subs and oh, 200 subs. But when you hit the thousand, you think, oh, I've got a thousand. I've got a thousand subs. And then you hit the two and you think, wow. And then keeps going from there. You're just so amazed continuously about uh, people actually wanting to watch your videos. Really does, you know, make all the work and the effort you put into them a bit better. You, you feel good about it. So I do thank you all and I appreciate you all very much. I thank you all for uh, subbing to me. So I got that out of the way. <laughs> now, uh, you might have noticed the title of the video is Three Man Army. And by the end of it, you'll see exactly what that means. It's quite a hectic game, this one on those airs. We had a lot of fun playing. We got a... Well, I did anyway. I got a bit... Oh, my God, we're going to lose. <laughs> How do I lose? But uh, it was a fucking great game. I really had a lot of fun playing this. The problem I found with having these great games is the people you're having the great games with, if they lose, they leave. But they're so close games, you know, the next one you're going to win, you might win. So stick around, eh? Just, if you lost, have a look at how much you lost by. I mean, I only lost by, you know, fucking 12 tickets, whatever. But then, you know, they go and leave and it's like, oh no, don't do that, you've Fucking giving us a great game. You're putting up a great fight. It is a real shame when you get into these games and the next game say so like, oh, I just walk over. <laughs> Shot that guy. I had no idea exactly where he was. But I knew he was behind those pipes and I just shot through my fucking teammate and got him. I was like, bullshit. <laughs> you always find a sniper up on that yellow rim building. Or I don't actually know if it's yellow rim, but we're in bad company too, so we just say yellow rim buildings. There's a sneaky fucker back here, I had no idea he was here. Hiding in the little fucking hidey hole there. With an ooze ass. <laughs> an ooze ass of all things. So I'm using the MG36. Got the extended mags. Uh, I think foregrip, yep, foregrip. And you have to use foregrip with this. Or a bipod, I, I like foregrip a bit more, a bit more maneuverable with it. And, uh... I think it's a 3.4 times scope. I do believe someone will correct me if I am wrong. Now I got sniped right then, and I was—I got a forward-facing indicator, so I'm like, he's got to be in here. I'm hearing a spawn beacon too, so I'm thinking he's got to be fucking here. I'm sorry too if the uh, the video seems a little dark. I have a new receiver, you know, a stereo receiver, well, 5.1 receiver. So, I'm actually running my computer, my Xbox, capture card, and all that through the receiver out to the television through HDMI. And it's kind of changed the picture a bit. I don't know, colors are a bit deeper than that. I think uh, it's actually improved it, but it's on the second monitor, it looks a little odd. And that's how I, I edit on the second monitor. I have the video screen on the second monitor and I, you know, make all my colour corrections and filters and all that on there, so... I don't know what I was doing right then. But, yeah, uh... Sorry if the picture seemed a little funny. I'm still trying to figure it out myself, how to get the colours, how I like them. I think it looks alright. I've gone between both monitors and checked it out. I think it looks okay. It might be a little dark in some areas. But I try my best. New equipment and all, it's often, uh, hard to adjust everything correctly for it but yeah there was a little like off topic kind of thing it's going to be a bit of a long video so I'll talk about a couple of things we all know by now that the patches coming out for the PS3 you'll see the Sharky I put out before that was recorded on the night of the patch you know it's been released and it was uh, revealed that Xbox and uh, PC will be delayed a bit now, what I'm thinking with the Xbox is the reason it's all ran right past that guy, but I had a tank and a helicopter on me, so I was like, fuck him. What I'm thinking with the Xbox is, it looks like the PS3 now can 
uh, rent servers after this patch, like immediately after, you know, they'll be able to rent their servers. I don't know, the cost or anything like that, I saw Gustav Halling had tweeted out to somebody that, about servers, you'll be able to rent them and that, on uh, PS3. So, my theory is, perhaps, the, uh, the Xbox version is delayed is because Microsoft might be putting up a bit of a fight against something that DICE want to do with the, the servers that people can rent. Uh, that's just a theory. Or maybe there is actually some sort of problem. But uh, I don't really know. So I don't think anybody really knows. I haven't really said what the problem is. So yeah, you got to... And as I said in the other video, you've got to be like... You know, just chill about it a bit. Don't go hating on the guys that work at DICE. I mean, they've got rules they've got to follow. They've got things they've got to do. And... Patchy actually uh, shot the guy out of that chopper right then, so he was real happy with himself. He got a... Oh, Dan. Ozzy's just got a triple kill right there with the little bird. So, I think it was a few uh, triple kills and quad kills all around for him in this match. Flying around, he's bloody good in the little bird. So, uh, got everything unlocked, and he just uses it perfectly, so... We tend to just, you know, if he wants a little bird, he gets a little bird kind of thing. But yeah, you got to be, you know, just... Polite, I guess is the best way to polite with uh, the guys that work at DICE. As, as I said in the Sharky, just the comments people were leaving. This is fucking horrible shit, man. I just cannot believe I got that double spray right then either. That sniper, if he just had, you know, his pistol out, he probably would have got me. I always make the joke that the pistol should be the sniper's primary weapon and his, his rifle should be his secondary because you often see that a sniper using his pistol more than he uses his bloody primary weapon. I'm just following this tag. If he had proximity scan, I'd oh, say so screwed, but he didn't. He's trying to get this C4 on. I've laid a couple on the ground, a couple on the back of the tank. Another double kill right then. But, yeah, getting back to the patch, and it does look like we will be able to rent servers very soon. I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, there's not much information about that. I'm guessing they'll be out in the next couple of days. The the blog about how, you know, we can go about renting servers. And I'm hoping I read that right from Gustav Halling about the PS3 being able to rent them. I mean, it seems to be... I can't see how I misinterpreted it, but... If I did, I apologise to everybody right now, but I don't think I have. So, let's hope with the Xbox it, it's pretty soon. And then we can get into our own servers. I mean, a lot of you would have seen on Xbox and PS3, the server browser has custom... You know, playlists now, a, a lot of uh, Team Deathmatch, Rush, and all mixed in together, Conquest. Which I haven't played yet. Um, I don't know how you guys find it, but I typically find the DICE servers to be not as good as the like the server browsers. Uh, the server servers? Server servers? I can't think of another way to say it, but you know, just the, the standard official EA ones. Compared to the DICE ones, always, for me, they, the DICE ones seem a bit... You know, laggy, and uh, the official ones seem pretty solid, and I don't find too many problems with them, but that could just be me, you know, I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, so I haven't really played any of the custom uh, playlists yet, uh, would be a, a great thing to have our own and be able to set up our own servers, there will be a few options you will not be able to change if you want to keep the server ranked, which, you know, if you're going to be playing competitive matches, you want it to be a ranked match. So all your stats are recorded and your unlocks and that. So there are a few options you will not be able to change. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm guessing it will probably be, you know, probably player health, you know, something like that. Uh, probably respawn times, I don't know really, but it will be, a, there is a, definitely a few options you will not be able to change. But I'm, I'm really excited about it. I cannot wait to get my own server up and running. And as soon as I do that, you know, it'll be sub nights and that. We'll be able to have some good competitive matches. You know, be the standard rules. If you're going to be camping bitch out, there is another player out there that would like your spot and he will gladly take it. Uh, trolling, he's going to be gone. You know, I'm hoping they do have a ban f uh, function because there are going to be players that just want to troll you, no matter what. 
So they gotta go. I don't know how that guy did not die from all those bullets I put into him then. But yeah, they were really fighting hard for A. Uh, there was just guys in these shipping containers all around them all the time. And I get knifed right there. Oh my god, that was so sucky. But yeah, A was pretty much the primary focus. Uh, Apache's at C and he's just holding it. So I was kind of like, you gotta fucking move from there. He's like, I'm holding C. <laughs> I was like, fucking, look, I'm sporty. I don't know why don't you help with this flag. But in the end, you know, his decision was right to sit there and try and hold C and capture C as long as he could. Talk a little bit about the uh, MG36. I found this to be an alright weapon. And I seem to be doing a lot better with this particular scope than I have been with all the others. I don't know why. As I said on a lot of my videos, it's all personal preference. And for me, this one just seemed to work very well. So I've stuck with it over the last couple of days. Now this here where I am is probably not the best place to capture B from. Over where I was before, it was a little better, a little more protected. But that is the key to it, is you have to find those far positions where you can capture the fl uh, flag from the furthest. And yeah, I'm sorry I sound a bit fuddy too, I got kind of a cold, but not really, you know, just a, a chest infection, it's kind of making me feel a bit fucking funny. But yeah, it's not, not pleasant. Felt like shit yesterday, gotta tell you that. It was fucking horrible, I had no energy or anything. But yeah, I'll save that for a little later in the video, still got a lot to talk about. Now, with the patch coming out, I want to uh, kind of gauge your guys' reactions to certain things that are coming out. The patch, how happy are you about, you know, the Bav Elevator, the, I'm fucking ecstatic about. But, like, the USAS and, you know, other things, what's caught your attention the most if you've read through the patch, uh, patch notes? How do you feel about certain things, you know? Is this a good idea? Is that a bad idea? It's kind of, I'd like to know what you guys are thinking and feeling about it. And remember, you know, if you're not going to contribute to the conversation, it's going to leave a troll comment. Block City, mate. Just, it's got to the point, just over it, man, you know, just fuck this shit, I'm over it. But yeah, that was in the shark video, so I won't go and rehash that topic again. I am very hopeful for the patch. I, I know it's not going to be you know, the be-all, end-all of things. It's not going to make the game perfect, but it is going to improve it. And I'm very hopeful that it will be more of the game we all hoped it could be, or I personally hope it could be. So I do enjoy it still. There are things that truly do piss me. I, I don't think tanks really should be able to take so much damage. Uh... I think once they're disabled, it should be just one more rocket, not two or three more rockets before it blows up. Because you pretty much have to tag team the shit out of a tank to bring it down, especially if it's got reactive armor on. It's just a fortress, really, with reactive armor. I mean, even C4, it takes a bit of work to get a tank with reactive armor down. But I, I think maybe they need to either buff the damage to vehicles of the small and the RPG, or lower the uh, the threshold when the when the vehicles are set. We see that guy standing up over there. It kind of distracted me for a second. Got one of our teammates trying to road kill people with a Mav, and GG for him. It's all very helpful in that because you're sitting in a corner somewhere, not actually attacking any of the flags or doing any work. It is just a fucking battle for AA. We just really. We're noticing how much these guys were putting up the fight and really sticking it to us at A. A lot of the time they were capping it from the top up there, uh, on the train tracks. It's a good spot, a little exposed. That was... I don't know how I got it. Destroy explosives, I think. Yeah, that's right, I was throwing a grenade. I always do that, or try to do that. If you see mines, C4 on the ground, they will be on your mini-map. Throw a grenade down. We always run uh, double grenades, what Aussie does. We've all got our own, you know, so I always have squad explosives on now. Just depends on, you know, who we're playing with. If we need to switch up, we do, but typically we're all playing together and we all have our own set, you know, uh, squad perks and that to have on. But, yeah, it, we always have the double grenade, so I always throw a grenade 
at those explosive and you get 20 points each so he goes 20 points but then you know it also saves your teammate who may not have seen those mines or whatever on the ground get rid of them for them if you come across them it's kind of your duty to get rid of them again I've gone to the stupid spot to capture the flag not the best spot in the world at all because they do spawn behind that building and it's you know, see I'm kind of freaking out a bit and I'm so afraid of getting walked up on from behind yeah, just get back. See, I've gone on another train of thought. I just do it. I don't know why. I just I'll start talking. Just record these commentaries. I just start talking, and then I go on this topic, that topic, and but yeah, I am very hopeful for the patch. <laughs> get back to that. I do think we are going to see uh, an improvement in the game. There are a lot of things. I think the server, uh, the rentable servers, are going to be the greatest thing they ever done for this game especially on console, it is going to make it just the best. I do hope, I don't think they do because I don't, I've talked to a couple of PC guys and I don't think they have reserve slots on PC yet. You know, someone who plays on PC can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but talking to uh, Don't Blink and he said no, they don't. Not that he's aware of anyway. And I think they need them for console, you know, especially. I mean, what's the point of having your own server? if you can't get into it if your mates can't get into it I mean I would have you know, four reserve slots for my mates and that's you know because I pay for it so yes I want my friends to be in there with me when we're playing you know because we all we play very fucking well together and I don't think I could uh do as half as well as I do without these guys they're just fucking great team players but yeah so there we go three man army mate have a look at it. Took uh, three on twelve. We won the game. But yeah, I don't know how I'm going to be putting videos out soon. I'm having a MRI on Friday. I'll be sitting in a bloody MRI machine for an hour and a half. So I don't know how I'm going to be feeling that weekend, Monday or whatever. They have to use a contrast on me, and I typically don't have a great reaction to that usually it's not very good afterwards but I will try to get some videos out this week for you and before that, all that happens and uh, yeah I'm doing well everything's fine no need to you know, worry or anything like that if you are so inclined I don't think it would be but you may be I don't fucking know anyway just putting it out there so I'll catch us again next time thanks for watching